Hey guys, welcome back to my Bang Dream Girls Band Party Character Analysis Series. We're going to be finishing our Afterglow Character Analysis today with its final member. It's the most normal girl of the band, Tsugumi Hazawa. Tsugumi Hazawa is the keyboardist of the band Afterglow. She is a first year student at Hanaoka Girls High School and is in Class 1B. Tsugumi is part of the student council and also helps out at her family's cafe, Hazawa Cafe. When Tsugumi is working hard and doing her best, her friends tell her she's Tsugurific. Let's talk about Tsugumi's relationship diagram now. Tsugumi is in class 1B with Mocha, Kimari, and Tomoe with Ron in class 1A. Due to her student council work, she interacts with plenty of Hanaoka girls as we can see from the A Rose's name in a transient world event. As for friends outside of school, Eve works part-time at Hazawa Cafe. Tsugumi went stargazing with Kasumi, Hina, and Kokoro during the Searching for Stars event. Tsugumi is also part of the food group alongside Saya and Hagumi when they go visit the sick Tomoe in Tomoe SOS Akko's Grand Nursing Operation. Finally, Sayo takes part in the cooking class that Hazawa Cafe hosts during the cooking class craziness event. We'll be examining this particular event in much detail in a little bit. Finally, let's talk about Tsugumi's character development. Surprisingly, for a character who is described as being a normal girl, she actually has quite a bit. Characteristic I've chosen for Tsugumi is that she doesn't have one. What does this even mean? Let's go over Tsugumi's stories to find out. We'll be starting with Afterglow's Band 1 story. Tsugumi actually has the least involvement out of all the members here, but it does a good job of setting up Tsugumi for the future. In Chapter 6, when everyone is talking about Girls Band Jam, Tsugumi tells herself that she has to try to not get left by behind. Tsugumi compares herself to her friends and wonders what exactly makes her special and how she can stand out. It's two weeks until Girls Band Jam and Tsugumi notices everyone except herself is vastly improving. She decides to stay after everyone else has left to practice more in order to catch up with them. However, this backfires on her and she gets too exhausted the next day. Tsugumi eventually collapses while doing student council work with Tomoe and Himari bringing her to the hospital. With that, Tsugumi is pretty much written out of Afterglow's band story 1. Tsugumi isn't there when the big argument happens, and when they try to resolve their differences during a hospital visit, she just watches without being able to do anything. Even in the climax of the story, when Ron finally confronts her father, Tsugumi isn't part of the iconic scene with Ron crying on Tomoe's shoulder. Sure, she is present when it happens, but not according to this art. It seems that Tsugumi is such a normal girl that she's often forgotten about most of the time. This all changes with the cooking class craziness event, where Tsugumi finally gets her just desserts. No pun intended. Tsugumi, one of the least developed girls at this point, gets paired up with Sayo, one of the most complex girls. Through their interactions with each other during this event, they both grow as characters. Since this is Tsugumi's video, I won't be talking too much about Sayo. However, if you don't know anything about Sayo, it might be worth re-watching this video in the future once I do upload her analysis. That way, you can truly appreciate both of these characters. Cooking class craziness starts off with the Hazawa Cafe hosting a cooking class in order to promote their business. Tsugumi takes on a major role as her mom's assistant with her first task to hang up posters downtown to advertise. When Sayo is walking home from school with Rinko, she notices one of the posters that Tsugumi put up. Sayo thinks that if she can make cookies, it would benefit Roselia. On the day of the class, Tsugumi is surprised to see Sayo here and asks if she is a student. Sayo tells her that she is and explains to Tsugumi her motivation for learning how to make cookies, referencing the Don't Leave Me Lisa event. 
After Tsugumi's mother teaches the class the steps to make cookies, he asks Tsugumi if Sayo is her friend. Tsugumi's mother notices that Sayo is rather confused and assigns Tsugumi as Sayo's personal teacher. Tsugumi doubts her abilities, but decides that she has to do her best for her mom's sake. Meanwhile, Sayo is also doubting her abilities, overwhelmed by doing something completely new. Tsugumi tells Sayo that all she has to do is make the cookie dough. Sayo questions the process of mixing the butter until it's white, unclear about how white it should get. Tsugumi suggests mixing for a little while longer, perhaps as a way to stall for time while she thinks about what to say next. Sayo continues to doubt her butter mixture, but Tsugumi assures her that her current color is good enough. Sayo seems unconvinced, but accepts that it is white enough. Tsugumi is relieved that they managed to get through step 1, but still apologizes to Sayo for her bad teaching. Sayo assures that Tsugumi is doing a good job and explains how she has a hard time quantifying the cooking process. Tsugumi once again blames herself for her poor explanations. Sayo thinks to herself that she has only been thinking about her flaws and how Tsugumi acknowledges Sayo's flaws instead of denying them. This is followed by Sayo dropping a bowl and then Tsugumi dropping a bowl, a subtle scene that shows us that the two girls are pretty much two peas in a pod. The next step of the cooking process involves rolling the dough to approximately 5mm thick. Sayo takes this literally and requests to borrow a ruler so she can measure. Tsugumi is inspired by Sayo's motivation and tells her that it's okay to be around the range and not exact. Sayo isn't too sure what this means and tries it anyway, resulting in some very thick dough. Tsugumi explains that there are times when you have to be precise after this, Sayo rolls the dough once more to be the perfect thickness. Sayo is amused by Tsugumi's amazement at something as simple as rolling dough, but she feels happy about it too. After Sayo cuts the cookies and puts them in the oven, she thanks Tsugumi for her teachings, but Tsugumi says that it was all because of Sayo's effort that she was successful. Sayo explains that she has learned something important from the cooking class thanks to her. Sayo says that she has a habit of trying to be perfect in everything that she does, but learned the concept of moderation from making cookies. Tsugumi had taught Sayo that she doesn't have to be so precise with everything that she does. Sayo then describes Tsugumi as someone with enthusiasm and willingness to help others. Tsugumi comments on how she is somewhat similar to Sayo, also being unable to show restraint and gets teased about it as a result. The two of them continue to chat while waiting for their cookies to be done. This talk between the two of them is a defining moment for Tsugumi's character. Tsugumi tells Sayo about how amazing all her friends in Afterglow are and then comments about having to catch up to them. If you recall from our earlier discussion of Afterglow's band story 1, this was the exact reason Tsugumi decided to overexert herself to the point of collapsing. Tsugumi has an internal struggle with herself all the time, putting her friends on a pedestal that she keeps trying to reach herself but can never get to. Sayo realizes how similar Tsugumi is to herself and tells her about Hina. Sayo comments on how Hina is a genius and how she always compares herself to her sister. Sayo then commends Tsugumi for her dedication and then offers some words of wisdom with which both of these girls should be listening to. Tsugumi praises Sayo's guitar skills, to which Sayo comments about finding her own sound, a goal she decided to embrace after the events of the Umbrella for the Autumn Rain event. Tsugumi, in awe of Sayo's motivation, asks if something like that exists for her as well. The conversation ends with Sayo telling Tsugumi that one day she'll also be able to find her own sound without comparing herself to others. Through their interaction with each other in this event story, both Sayo and Tsugumi found an important piece of themselves that they were lacking before. For Sayo, he had always been obsessed with perfection, technique, skill, all that kind of stuff, which resulted in her music sounding lifeless and robotic. Sayo, through this cooking class, learned about restraint and moderation, something that she had never considered before. This important lesson might help her find what she calls her own sound in the future. Sayo's own sound is meant to be interpreted literally in this case, where she wants to play her guitar in a way that she can be known for and proud of. As for Tsugumi, she learns about appreciating her own talents and traits. As for Tsugumi, she learns about appreciating her own talents and traits. Tsugumi was always too focused on how she held up compared to her friends. She didn't want to be left behind, or the reason the band fails in any way. Using this as motivation to get better backfired on her in the past, when she collapsed from exhaustion from practicing too much. Sayo put it best when she told Tsugumi that she is obsessing too much over all those negative thoughts. It's only when Tsugumi stops comparing herself to others that she can find her own sound in the future. Tsugumi's own sound is meant to be interpreted figuratively in this case, where she wants to have a defining characteristic of her own that she can be known for and proud of, in the same way that she always describes her friends. This event concludes with one last chat between the two girls. 
Kyle tells Tsugumi to have more confidence and describes Tsugumi as a person good at finding other people's strong points. Tsugumi says she never really thought of it that way, but Sayo reassures her and tells her that finding the good points in others is a fitting trait for her. Tsugumi takes Sayo's words to heart and the two of them part ways, at least until they meet up to go shopping together in the future. <laughs> In conclusion, Tsugumi considers herself a plain old ordinary girl, but if anything, she learns that there's nothing wrong with that. The moral of her story is not to be obsessed with trying to be unique. By acting the way you are naturally, you're sure to find a sound of your very own. I hope you guys enjoyed my analysis on Tsugumi. It's a bit longer than usual, but hopefully that makes up for the previous few days where it was quite short. As always, I'm interested in your thoughts of Tsugumi, if you like her or not, if she's your best girl, all that kind of stuff, please leave down in the comments below. I'll also be pitching my new YouTube channel, Kasumira, where I'll be uploading Bang Dream related stories. Go check it out if that interests you in any way. Now that we're done with Afterglow's band analysis, we can move on to another band. I'll leave you guessing until tomorrow which one I'll be picking.